Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya? This is our entire job! <laughs> Therefore, we need to... <laughs> Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in this picture is not Maya Faye. Y yes I see that. It's not just her face, her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn, then. That somehow, this other person oh, snuck no, in and not, traded places with no, the defendant. No, Phoenix, that's not what I wanted- That's not what I wanted to, you to say. <laughs> People are idiots in this case. Order, order, order! I love order with two exclamation points. Well, that's yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Fey. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at the prosecutor Von Karma's face. <laughs> She's smiling? <laughs> I think you'd better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Ray. M Miss Von Karma! What do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like you I would like for you to take a look at this picture. This was taken yesterday at the detention center visitor's room. That is private information that you are not allowed to have oh, at all. Oh, we'll, we'll just see where this goes. Trust this is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fey, during his visit. Maya Fey? But isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she's obviously in the middle of a channeling a spirit. Ooh, her face is kind of cool. Ciao! It's unbelievable that she can... However, it is true. When Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. I wonder if she knows what she's doing. M Mia! Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. That person cannot- or that picture cannot be submitted as evidence. Obviously, this picture is illegal. But I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. You still took it. Breaking the law. You're going to jail for that. What, what is she... From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. Uh, I don't have even a single witty line. Looks like we've been had... I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person- THIS PERSON IS THE DEFENDANT MAYA Fey? Here's the thing, even if it is, she's not guilty of murder, you lackwits. Oh I'm guessing gosh. they don't know that she completely loses consciousness. So, you know how, like, sometimes people, um, like, Howl's Moving Castle- It wouldn't make sense if she didn't, though. Okay, but you know how, like, in Howl's Moving Castle, the kid, like, throws the cape over his head and then he has a beard? All of a sudden, what does that have to do with no, this? No, just, just hear me out. And he's still himself, and he still is consciously doing things. They may think that oh, she's changing her physical appearance, but she's still consciously shooting guns and stuff. But here's the they thing. They may completely think that. But here's the thing: the doctor called the nurse so she could like testify. The doctor knew that. The doctor knew that channeling. But was people a thing. are people are idiots. In right? This no. Case. The, okay. The doctor knew that she was channeling spirits because he looked into that specifically to do So did Von Karma! She researched everything! She's not telling anything to these people. Why doesn't Phoenix? Because Phoenix could have like literally every single person in the village testify to this fact. I know. As well as people of you The police used Misty Faye like in the DL6 incident. And we proved They think she's a fraud though. But we proved in the trial last time that she wasn't. Right, but not everyone knows that, and if you're playing this game for the first time, that's very hard to figure out. This is. I, I still I don't, think this is I really don't think stupid. This is, I don't think this is as stupid. Okay. As, I as you I think it's just I ridiculous. Think that, and I do stupid, think it's but... kind of ridiculous. However, 
I'm not blaming them for like, oh, this, this is her, like, channeling, she's channeling a spirit, but she's changing her appearance and she can still actively have a free will, versus she's not actually having a free will. And who knows, maybe we'll end up hurting I, I don't know if we will. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prove that the person in this picture is not Maya? I can't prove it, I can prove it. I mean, in the logic that they have, we can't prove it, because it's Maya. But, yeah. It's no good! My argument doesn't hold any water! I see the defense is staying silent on this one. Yes, Your Honor. And to think, I even gave you this chance to prove your point for free. But you couldn't even point yourself in, out in a lineup. Hmm, yes. Well then, I believe we have reached a conclusion. Phoenix! Y yes You can't give up, please, for me. Take a look at the court record again and try to find your way out of this jam. Yeah, some way. The judge is about to close the trial. You can't let that happen. Ah, it's come down to this. Oh, we just get it anyway. Your Honor! Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all of the testimony up until now. Now, what is it now, Mr. Wright? Wrong sixty. My bad. Your Honor? Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture... Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So, you think you could, you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange in this picture to the court? Body's already dead. Yes. She's confused. Bangs. She, she's definitely the spirit of the nurse, because, I mean, yeah, she's that, got... she's the, got that stink face. She's got that exact stink face, as a matter of fact. Um... Dude's dead. Lights are on. Gun. <laughs> Two bracelets. Two bracelets, yep. So it kind... Uh, what you were seeing was the flap here. Yeah. So there's the sleeve and then the flap. Oh, okay. That's what I was seeing. Yeah. Shoot! Um... Mine doesn't wear lipstick. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to see what this might be. Tommy, you may he's have... dead. I'm wondering if there's a fact that you've forgotten about. I may have forgotten. Oh, and we can't check the evidence. Which is stupid. Um, oh, dog on it. That yeah, that's pretty bad. There's blood everywhere, which is great. She's near the door, so yep. she's nowhere near the. The folding screen, like we had said before. She's holding Do you a try gun. That? No, it's not working. She doesn't have that much blood on her. All things considered, I thought there was more on her sleeves and stuff. Um, I mean, there's stuff on the other end of this part. Okay, okay. But we can't see that in the photo. Uh. Shoot, I'm forgetting, and I feel bad. No, um, it's fine. Mm, it could be something really dumb. <laughs> Telling you, Maya doesn't wear lipstick. <laughs> no, her Makatama's on, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, that's that's, that's the same. That's Makatama. That's the same. And it's that not was like before she gave down it to or us. Anything. Right. <laughs> I swear, if it's something super dumb, the I'm gun's not mad. smoking. It's not. But I don't know if that. I don't know how guns work, because I haven't shot guns. <laughs> Need to get on that, Marty. You live in America. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, oh, gosh. Do you give up? Why didn't she shoot us? Well, maybe it's just the spirit we, only okay. wanted to kill him. We broke down the door on this girl. I feel like she would be scared out of her mind. But here's the thing. If that really is, like, the spirit of the nurse who came into Maya's body, she only wanted to kill Grey because she thought, at the very least, he killed her. Okay. And so she had no reason to kill us. She literally just wanted to get revenge, basically. Okay. 
Um, he's on the ground. He's bleeding. Uh, she's flipping us off off uh, camera. No, she's not. <laughs> um, she looks really confused. Like, she looks like, what? What am I doing? Like, she's got her <laughs> arms up like that. Well, what's what she gonna, gonna do? do? Like, uh, I don't know. It, um, like, she's kind of looking like, wait, did I do this? As if she's, like, starting to transform back into Maya. Okay. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not getting this. So her face, then? I don't know. I mean, that's... We, we her face try. is the thing we should that try wasn't that. shown. All right. Take Please direct your attention here. To, to her face? With your own two eyes, you can clearly see that this face does not belong to Maya Faye. Oh, was it that simple? No. <laughs> Fool. Did you even know what you're talking about anymore? Ah! That hurt! Didn't we just finish discussing that her appearance changes during channeling? I know you ain't no dummy, so don't think of- There's a limit to everything, Mr. Wright, and that includes patience. I love how the judge just instantly, like, interrupts. Phoenix, you have to think before you speak. You can't just- N Nick, you're supposed Whoa! To Whoa! <laughs> Even Maya's mad at me now! I have to focus. That was too fast to read! That was so I've bad. never seen it. that before. <laughs> can we go back and editing or something and fix that? <laughs> so, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. <laughs> um, I don't want to go back and record all that stuff. Okay. I, that's blah, blah, really blah, blah, annoying. Blah. All right, that, so that, that was actually, so that's the thing. That was wrong, but that gave us special dialogue. It did. So that was interesting. I, I knew we would get it wrong at least once. Is it him? Let's try that. The contradiction lies here. Oh. You don't sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Wright. Excuse me, but can you really tell how much confidence I have in this? Hmm. What is it with that attitude? Ah, that hurt! Didn't we just finish discussing that her appearance changes oh, during channeling? Oh, now he can try okay. this again. I know you ain't no dummy, so don't think you're fooling around no one here! There's a limit to everything, Mr. Wright, and that includes patience. Phoenix, you have to think before you speak! You can't just- Nick, you were supposed to be helping me! <laughs> Even Maya's mad at me now. Here we go. Alright, so if you're really wondering what it is. Yeah. Take that! Serious- Oh, there's no bullet! Oh, I'm such an idiot! Please direct your attention here. To, to the sleeve? But but there isn't anything odd about it. Exactly. And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be here is suddenly missing. Should be there? Ah! <laughs> there was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Miss Von Karma, you... You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Alright, this should do some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Again? Ah, she's got the condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Tsk, tsk. Jumping the gun, I see. Your Honor, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. W what do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to this case. Hmm, I see. She's vying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. You can't prove that. Francisca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at the next salary discussion. Poor Gumshoe. Yeah, poor Gumshoe, man. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor, there's only one logical explanation for the contradiction. The picture is a fake, the bullet hole is made later, the shooter is someone else. 
last two. I think it <laughs> Alright, let's get the stupid one over with first. The fact that the defendant's costume has a bullet hole in its sleeve is a fact, which can only mean one thing. That this picture is a fake. W what Hey! You call me a forger now? Well, no, not you exactly. Well, not per se. Oh, no you don't! Don't you be scratching your head with that goofy smile like some monkey! Vana, <laughs> Vana penalized us. <laughs> now, what do you think I'd do something that nasty? Come on now. Phoenix, use your brain for a change! S sorry, Chief! <laughs> that was great. Okay. Alright, so bullet hole was made later. I think it could be both, honestly. Um, well, actually, no, I don't think the shooter's someone else. There were only two people in there. Um, but he's, like, on the ground. It's true. He's bleeding to death. There's no way that she's like, He's da, already da, dead. Da, da, da. Okay, now to do this, and then, like, all of a sudden... <laughs> And then all of a sudden, just like, so are you leaning like, towards? Like, pick mm -hmm. up the gun. Are and you leaning towards bullet holes made later then? Because Morgan was in the room for several minutes while we. Oh my the gosh! What if she's the murderer? That'd be awful. <laughs> or attempted to. No. But, but he she, said he was already dead. But while she we went cares in there. about Maya. I hope. It's, it's true, but. He, uh, so maybe, he, here's maybe, the thing: when ooh. we burst, when we burst through the door, mm. he was already dead. Yes, but was there a bullet in your sleeve? You couldn't tell. We couldn't tell. Oh man, what if, what if, okay, this is a crazy theory here. What if Morgan is determined to make Pearl the next master, but since she's like the outer branch of the family, that would never happen. She's like, I gotta kill Maya. I gotta Holy get cow, Maya off. that would no, be no, terrible. She's like, I gotta get Maya off of here, so Pearl can be my fabulous little star that she is. <laughs> you hear it sound like she's entering Pearl into a beauty pageant. Yeah, like toddlers and tiaras. <laughs> That is, or like honey boo, -boo. That, is, that is awful, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it is terrible. I don't, okay. I don't approve of. Well, it's one of those two. Let's try them. All right. There's only one explanation for why there is no hole in the sleeve in the picture. The hole was created much later after the murder took place. Uh, after the murder? Hey, those two gunshots we heard before we broke in. Oh wait, were before we broke in, or did you forget? She hmm. almost forgot. <laughs> is that is that how it went? The pistol fired only two shots. No more, no less. Have you heard of a thing called another gun? You do know how to count, right? Uh, oh, three or four. <laughs> Phoenix, what are you doing? Try it one more time. Y yes, Chief. Yup, sure, someone else. I swear if it's Morgan. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. Keep in mind, Morgan was outside with us when the guy was getting killed. Oh, that's true. So she literally could not have been. Oh, uh, what if someone was behind the screen the whole time? Wait, what if she wasn't sleeping? What if the girl wasn't sleeping? We didn't, like, examine I mean, that's, her I, up I guess close. that's possible. We didn't yeah, because we didn't want to bother what her. What if, like, she pulled the whole, like, movie thing where you put your pillow under so it looks <laughs> like you're sleeping and then she was just like, I mean, that's, that's oh, definitely boy, possible. I'm going to try doing this. Like, Dude, it eats steak! Yeah, basically. <laughs> However, Salmonella <laughs> pops out from behind. <laughs> oh my gosh, this could be the coolest thing for my new film. <laughs> <laughs> However, this person clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. Wh what? what Got that question music. Order, order, order! If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. No! Ah! Why me? The defense's the defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What in the heck? Is that any way to ask a girl a favor? Be quiet, you! You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you are lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see! Uh, look, sis! You're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you- Wah! I swear! I wasn't lying or nothing! There wasn't anyone else in there, honest! See? Now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Where did that defendant vanish to? Where did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Been there, Phoenix. Been there. Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. 
First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right! Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright! I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true? Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is a third person had entered it, Maya had left the room, something I can't explain. A yet. third person had entered it. Pretty sure, at least. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. Oh, we don't have evidence for that! I have proof that there's someone else in the room before the murder took place. I don't have proof for that! I just wanted to put up the idea! <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> You know Von Karma would have been like, EVIDENCE! Yeah, I know, but we're- <laughs> In that voice. Yeah. I do dig this music, though. Okay, who do we got? Can't be her. Can't be- uh... was in the room beforehand! And <laughs> she broke it! <laughs> do you want to say she was there? Sure. Please take a good look at this! Okay, she looks like an airhead. I've already seen it. Thank you! And, what is the purpose of this item? Don't you see, Your Honor? I don't think you actually see what you're doing. <sighs> I think it is the court that should be signed at you, Mr. Wright. Here's Ouch! My That's done. Present another piece. Think it over again. Uh, so well, I don't think the third person theory could work right now. Okay. Because we don't have anything. I think the way I'm gonna going about this is all wrong. I have to start over and try to think about things in a different manner. All right. When when. So do you want to say? Okay. Before we forced our way into the channeling chamber. So this is so this is, we, so this is after we locked in. after they got locked in before we broke down the door. And after the gunshots fired. Maybe. Maybe. Maya left the room? But we saw her. Oh, well, we saw the nurse. Right. Something I can't explain yet? Because that's the thing, because we think a third person had entered it, but we don't have evidence, so do we want to say Sure. That? This is gonna work. I'm sorry, but I simply can't. You see? And the reason is quite simple. Because there is no explanation. That's why. Hmm. As I thought, another big waste of this court's time. Come on! Phoenix, you can't just give up like that! But Mia... Rethink things one more time. There has to be an explanation. I'm already perfect, so of course my conclusions are also perfect. You're not perfect. At the very least, you're not humble. Oh, yeah! I went there! <laughs> yeah! All right, right. Calm down and let's try this one more time. I guess Maya? Wow, I got this completely wrong. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolish, foolish, foolish dreams. Maya Faye was being locked at, er, locked, looked after by her aunt, Gordon Faye. The chances of her leaving that crime scene is lower than the defense's salary. Or the detective's. Defense, the defense's salary. That's, that's also true. We don't get paid for this. <laughs> the detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Well, we have less of a, of a hit. This time. Right. Proof that the, from the murder until the time of the arrest, the defendant had left the room. Screen? We somehow could read something, remember? On the folding screen? Yeah, I don't know. The evidence you're looking for is this? Nope. What the heck is that? Is this the end of there for? Well, actually, I'm not really sure about this evidence, you know? Next time, only present evidence you actually do have faith in. Ow, that burned. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. The defendant did have the key. But... Maya had the key, that's true. But... But then Pearl somehow got it. Um... Maybe when we were eating tea... Eating tea? Drinking tea! <laughs> <laughs> you're, just like eating, you're just going to town on some tea leaves. Like, maybe... <laughs> okay, maybe Morgan temporarily knocked us out from the tea and... And Maya tried to escape. I don't know. Okay? No. What? No. I'm, I'm sorry, to, I'm trying to think of some way that this could work. Maya's bloody costume and newspaper clippings and knives and... Maya's bloody newspaper clippings? <laughs> no. Holy cow, I don't remember that. No, I said... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's gonna be the episode title. <laughs> it won't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, the key? I'm just gonna try the key. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah! That's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only one all of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? H huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Well, ain't that kick! So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. I'm, I'm guessing Morgan's doing all this. Th th that's preposterous! This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. Order, order, order. It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The, defense... the nurse isn't dead. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> the defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Well, you were saying that Eeny Miney was probably not sleeping. Is that kind of your current theory? Or Creepy. Is... Well, if so, remember, you're like, maybe she also has a stained face, and that's why her eyes are always closed. I mean, that could be a possibility. Miss <laughs> Von Karma? How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant is not possible. My perfect case! How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't you think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I am a prodigy! I've never lost a case! I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you! Easy with the whip there, Indiana Jones. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Let's go back to... Karain Village. Oh, that was a really quick transition. June 21st, 1.32 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby number 2. Again, how three. did that whole... Oh, number 3. Again, how did that tr whole entire trial, this episode and the last one, last a shorter amount of in-game time than the first case of the first game? I don't uh, understand. I don't know. <laughs> wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis! Yes, I felt I had no choice. Great going, Pearly! I knew you were special! Hey, Nick, did you know? Um... Yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick, I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that that third person could have gone into that room. D yeah. Well, well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, uh, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. 
All right, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. What about Maya? Maya has to go back. Oh, Maya's in the Maya suspension. Maya goes to, to jail. To jail. Forgot. <laughs> to be continued. Still love that jingle. Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. More investigating. That's definitely going to be at least a two episode okay. thing to get through. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Look forward to more Cyclops, most likely. <laughs>